In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create this photo montage slideshow in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here I already have Premiere opened up, so I'm gonna start by creating a new sequence. Go over here to New Item, go up to Sequence, and then this little window here is gonna pop up. Under Sequence Presets, go ahead and go down to Digital SLR, 1080p, and then select 1080-24. Go over to Settings, and then you wanna make sure that these settings all match. If you wanna make it a 4K resolution video or photo slideshow, you can change this to 3840 by 2160. And that's going to get you that 16 by nine aspect ratio, but we wanna go with a 1080p video. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080. And then make sure all these settings match. If you wanna name it, you can, and then just press okay. Once you have that sequence created, it's now time to import those photos. So I'm gonna start by going down here, clicking in this empty space in the project table, click on new bin, and I'm gonna name this bin photos. If you don't see your view looking like this and you have this little list view going on here, you can click this button here and this will bring up the icon view. Now I'm gonna click on that photos bin that I just created, double click anywhere within this open space, and then I'm gonna go inside and import all of my photos. So go ahead, select all them, and then click import. Once those photos have been imported, it's now time to put them in order. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click over here anywhere within my project table, and I'm gonna press the tilde key on the keyboard. That's gonna give you that full screen so you can get a good visual of your photos. So now I'm gonna deselect all of my photos, and I'm gonna start putting them in order. So I'll go ahead and just click and drag them around wherever I want them to be. And that looks pretty good. So now that they're in order, I'm gonna go ahead and make them all the same duration. So I'm gonna start by clicking on the very first clip, hold down shift and then click on the very last photo, right click and then go down to speed slash duration. And I wanna make sure that all of these clips are about five seconds long. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to five and these other two numbers here to zero and then press okay. And now when I put them on the timeline, they're all gonna be five second photos. Once I've done that, go ahead and press the tilde key again, and it's gonna bring you back to that original view. Go over here to the project table, make sure that all of your photos are selected, and then go ahead and click and drag them onto video layer number one. And when I scrub through this, you can already tell that your photos are not properly framed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix that real quick. Go ahead, select all of your photos by pressing Command A, or you can just click, simply click and drag and select all of them that way. Right click, and then select scale to frame size. And now you at least have the photo within the frame. It may not be framed properly because you got these black bars going on here. I'm gonna show you a fix here in just a bit. It's gonna make this all come together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have all of my clips selected and I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard and I'm gonna click and drag these photos directly above onto video layer number two. If you don't drag these photos, if they're not directly above their original photo on video layer number one, this isn't gonna look good here in just a bit. So just make sure that they are directly above on video layer number two. Once you've done that, go ahead and click this little I button to disable video layer number two. We're gonna be working on video layer number one here for a sec. Now I'm gonna go over here to this very first photo on video layer number one, go ahead and select it. Then I'm going to select effect controls and I'm gonna go down here to scale and I'm gonna scale this photo up until it fills the entire frame. That looks pretty good right there. Let's go 269 and then once that has been scaled all the way up and the entire frame has been filled, I'm gonna go over here to the double arrows and go down to effects. Now I'm gonna type in Gaussian Blur. Click and drag Gaussian Blur onto that clip that you just scaled up. And I'm going to increase the blurriness to about 125. I wanna make sure that blur dimensions is set to horizontal and vertical. And I want to make sure repeat edge pixels is checked. If it's not, it's gonna have this little shadow thing going on. It's not gonna look good. For the blurriness, you can kind of play around with this to whatever suits your needs. And once that's done, I'm gonna go over here to this clip. I'm gonna right click and click on copy. And then I'm going to select every single photo on video layer number one, right click, and then select paste attributes. I wanna make sure that I have motion checked because the scale is going to affect all the other clips. And then I wanna make sure that I have effects checked because it's gonna apply this Gaussian blur to all the other photos as well. And then press okay. Now you scrub through this and you can see no more black bars and every single photo is got that Gaussian blur applied to it. So now that that's done, go ahead and check this I button here for video layer number two. And that's gonna show all the photos on video layer number two. And I'm just going to go to a random one. We'll go with this one right here and I'm going to click on that photo. 
And I'm just gonna downscale this to about 90. I think that looks pretty good right there. And you can kind of play around, do what you will with this one as well. And I'm gonna go back over here under effects and I'm going to type in radial shadow and click and drag radial shadow onto that clip that you just downscaled. And I'm gonna make these changes. So for shadow color, I wanna change this to white and then press okay. For opacity, change that to 100 and then go ahead and check resize layer and bring the projection distance to about three. You can play around with that. And then the light source, I just wanna to change to where it's even across every side of this photo. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. Now I'll go back down over here to effects and type in drop shadow and click and drag drop shadow onto that same clip that you just added the radial shadow to. Scroll down here under effects controls again. And then for the shadow, we're gonna keep it at black. For the opacity, what I like to do is go ahead and bring that up to 100 so you can easily see it. For the distance, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring that out to about 30. And then for the direction, I've just changed this to whatever side I want it to come from. The side right there looks pretty good to me. Then for the softness, I'll increase this. And then I'm gonna dial back that opacity just a little bit. So you wanna make it look pretty subtle. And you can turn this off, turn it back on just to kind of see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good right there. And once you've done that, click on radial shadow, hold down command on the keyboard, and then click on drop shadow in that order, and then press command C to copy those two effects. And then go ahead and apply them to the rest of the photos that don't already have those two effects on video layer number two. So go ahead and paste that, and then I'll paste that to these other ones over here. And that's gonna apply that radial shadow and that drop shadow to your photos. Now you may not be able to see the radial shadow and the drop shadow right now, because all the photos aren't at the same scale anymore. So in order to do that or get them all to the same scale, I'm gonna go back over here to this photo that I've already adjusted the scale, click on it, right click on it, click copy, and then select all of the photos on video layer number two, and then go ahead and right click and select paste attributes. Now you wanna make sure that you uncheck effects for this one because we've already applied the radial shadow and the drop shadow, and you wanna make sure that motion is checked here and then press okay. Now when I scrub through this, all the photos have been scaled down. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a transition in between each photo. So in order to do that, go ahead and press this X button here, go down to video transitions, and you can play around and use any one of these transitions, but I'm just gonna use a simple film dissolve. So go over to film dissolve first, right click on it, and make sure that you set selected as default transition. So right click and then click this option here, and that's gonna make film dissolve the default transition. Once I've done that, go ahead and select every single clip on the timeline, go up here to sequence, and then select apply default transitions to selection. And that's going to apply that transition to every single one of the photos on the timeline. Go ahead and make this a little bigger, and I'm gonna get rid of this film dissolve here at the beginning, as well as the film dissolve here at the end. Now you can see the first photo transition smoothly into the second photo. But we're gonna go one further and this is gonna really bring this photo slideshow all together. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and select that very first clip on video layer number two. I'm gonna go up here under effects controls, make sure that I have my playhead brought to the very beginning and I'm going to check the stopwatch here for scale. Then what I'm gonna do is go forward on that clip just a little bit and I'm going to drop the scale down to about 85. I wanna make sure that this is subtle. I don't wanna be bringing the scale down too much here. And I'm gonna click and drag that keyframe that has been created to the very end of that clip. So I have a keyframe here at the beginning and I have a keyframe here at the end. And then when I play it back, you're gonna see that it subtly zooms away or zooms out of the photo. And I wanna apply that zoom out to every single clip on the timeline. So we're gonna do just like we've been doing the entire time. I'm gonna go ahead and select that first clip right click and then i'm going to select copy and then i'm going to select the rest of the photos on video layer number two and then i'm going to select paste attributes this time i'm just going to make sure that again motion is checked because of the scale that we just did and make sure that the effects are unchecked and press ok now when i play it back you can see that it plays back smoothly Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Hit it like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.